So Harbia Malay allegedly wants to take over the Falklands for its oil reserves. Really? Well, the first obvious lie is the idea of the offshore oil near the Falklands fixing their immediate economic woes. Firstly, talks of oil in the area have been happening since as long as I can remember. A British company, Rockhopper, was set up 20 years ago in 2004 to look for oil. It then took six years for a subsidiary, Desire Petroleum, to announce they had found some. They told the world they were planning to drill 6 to 10 wells. Argentina were a little jealous. They announced ships headed for the area would need permission from Argentina themselves to hopefully discourage this project from going ahead. But they needn't have worried. In 2011, Desire Petroleum abandoned all plans after discovering the reserves they discovered were actually mostly water. There's been more recent explorations. Some believe there might be enough oil in the North Falk Basin to meet half of Britain's need, but I can't blame anyone for taking this with a pinch of salt. And assuming the best case scenario with the best Western companies at work, oil exploration is a very high risk and long term endeavor. It typically takes about a decade or more to see any return on initial investment. And given that Argentina does not have the ability to develop offshore oil drilling on its own, and even when they do allow foreign companies to get involved, it typically does not go well. And thus, if Argentina does invade the Falklands uh, for the hypothetical oil, with the embargoes, it would take decades and decades for any return on investment, assuming they could do it in the first place and assuming there's actually any oil there. And secondly, everything else in the news article shows a complete and utter misunderstanding of Argentinian foreign policy since the war. I think GB News is trying to anger the British public for, I assume, clicks by linking his recent comment. There is no money. The truth is, the previous regimes have looted the country. To an old GB News article titled, Falklands Fury all caps, as new president of Argentina vows to take UK territory back. So we need to understand, since the Falklands War, there's been two schools of thought when it comes to Argentinian foreign policy. The first is the non-aligned traditional approach. This is favoured by most demagogues, stirring up domestic support by verbally attacking Britain, focusing on sovereignty, antagonising the West, crying about colonisation. This approach is also known for bilateral negotiations only, with um, talks only with Britain, which excludes the islanders from being a political entity with a voice. Malay, on the other hand, is similar to Menem of the 1990s, who established an internationalist policy. This is also known as the pragmatic approach that sought to strengthen ties with the economically developed and Western countries, recognising the Falkland Islanders in negotiations too, and trying to seduce them to Argentina's side by using the carrot rather than the stick. Malay soundly fits into this latter category, for he reportedly said in April, Argentina has not created the conditions for the Falkland Islanders to want to be Argentinians. If you want them to be part of Argentina one day, it's going to involve a very, very long negotiation. He later accuses his opposition for wanting to ruin the lives of the islanders and not wanting to abide by international law. In his opening address, he brought up the example of Hong Kong as a success story. So this is the approach for Argentinian leaders who don't wish to take the islands outright, who don't have imperial um, tendencies, but do recognise the domestic political climate and uh, the need to dangle something in front of the patriotic people especially the powerful veterans. And thus, I think it's absolutely absurd for GB News to group Malay with the recent demagogues and report that he wants to um, take the Falklands, for he is the complete opposite. Honestly, this was one of the worst articles I've ever read. Thanks for listening.